Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy fall, y'all. This is the first fall video over the course of the next couple of months. I have lots of fun fall content coming your way just to change things up a little bit, but it made perfect sense to start out this fall video series with a copycat Starbucks recipe video sharing with you how to recreate the famous fall inspired Starbucks drinks at home for less points and less calories. So if you are excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. You don't wanna miss all this fun fall content. Check out the description box down below for my two recipe eBooks. We have a breakfast and lunch eBook. Both of them contain 15 recipes, all plan points and calories. So definitely get your hands on those so you have easy, recipes at your fingertips ready to go. Definitely helps you stay on track. I do offer nutrition coaching as well, personalized to you, macros and calories, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to everything I shared with you today, as well as all of my favorite things are also down in that description box. And don't forget to head over, join us over on Facebook. We'd love to have you. So let's jump into all things copycat Starbucks fall recipes. recipe is going to be a copycat of the Starbucks pumpkin sweet cream cold brew. That is one of my favorite, favorite Starbucks drinks. I will put the original points and calories here on the screen and let's go ahead and recreate this, make it less points and calories, and we'll see if it's equally as delicious. We are going to taste test everything, of course, so let me show you what's in the first copycat recipe. You're going to need pumpkin pie spice, maple syrup, vanilla extract, canned pumpkin. You wanna make sure that you get 100% pure pumpkin puree, not pumpkin pie. You don't want the added sugar that's in that mix. You're going to need some cold brew coffee. I'm going to use this Javi coffee concentrate. I shared this in a quick little YouTube short video. This is really, really good, very convenient, lasts a long time, much more affordable than buying container after container of cold brew. So I'll link that video and Javi coffee down below. You could use espresso, cold brew, coffee, drip coffee, whatever you'd like. This is just what I'm using in today's video. Some low fat milk and some salt. So the first thing we're going to do is put together the coffee portion. So whether you're using a cold brew or you're pulling shots of espresso, whatever coffee you're using, you want to go ahead and get that together first. So like I mentioned, I am using this Javi Javi coffee concentrate. It's actually really good. I am not the biggest cold brew fan. I generally don't like the taste, but this is really, really good. A little bit goes a very long way. When I make a 24 ounce or 32 ounce iced coffee, I use two teaspoons. And because I'm making a smaller cup, I'm actually only going to use one teaspoon of the concentrate. And then I'm going to add in some water and some ice. This is really all you need of this concentrate for this size of a cup. This is a pretty small cup, maybe 12 ounces. Now for the sweet cream that goes on top in this measuring cup, this glass measuring cup, I'm adding one quarter cup of my low fat milk, half of a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, half of a teaspoon of canned pumpkin puree, half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract, half of a teaspoon of maple syrup, and just a tiny little pinch of salt. And then using my milk frother, I just bought this off of Amazon. I'll link it down below. It was super affordable. It works super good. We're just going to froth this up until we have that yummy, sweet foam that's on the original Starbucks drink. So copycat Starbucks pumpkin cold foam recipe number one. Let's give this a try. It looks delicious. That was actually the perfect amount of foam for this size of a cup. All right, let's test it out. I have actually had the original Starbucks one once so far this year. It's so 
delicious, but let's see if we duped it out with this recipe. That, that's delicious. It's super, super, super good. Now it isn't as sweet as the original Starbucks one. And in this recipe, it said that you could add some maple syrup and vanilla to the actual espresso or the coffee to make it sweeter. So I think next time I would add some type of sweetener to the coffee base before I add on the cold foam, but it's really good. For recipe number two, we are going even more close to the original Starbucks recipe. This one is going to be a little bit higher in points and calories, but I'm wondering if this will be a dead on dupe to their recipe versus the first one, which was really good, but again, just wasn't that dead on dupe. So for this recipe, you'll need pumpkin pie spice, heavy whipping cream, pure vanilla extract, sweetened condensed milk. I'm just going with fat-free sweetened condensed milk to save some points, calories. And then of course my Javi coffee concentrate and some pure pumpkin. For the second recipe, I'm going to do a little more coffee. I'm gonna make a little bit bigger coffee this time. So I'm going to go with a full teaspoon of the concentrate, ice, and water. So for this second recipe, I have a distinct feeling this is going to turn out even better because we are using heavy whipping cream which should really froth and foam up. So I'm doing one quarter cup of heavy whipping cream, one tablespoon of the fat-free sweetened condensed milk, one teaspoon of pumpkin puree. I'm just going to eyeball about a half a teaspoon or so of a pumpkin pie spice and then half of a teaspoon of vanilla. So let's froth this up and see if we get more of that like foamy consistency. Look at how thick and creamy this is. Okay, I have a feeling this is going to be the best dupe yet. Oh my goodness. Alrighty, now, if I do say so myself, this looks exactly like the one I get at Starbucks. You can see that the foam hasn't even went into the actual coffee yet. It's sitting right on top. Oh my gosh. It smells incredible. I can't wait for this. I, like I said, think this is going to be the winner winner chicken dinner. Oh my gosh, that foam. That foam, the foam on this, better than Starbucks. Better, and it took two seconds to make, so easy. Let me mix this up a little bit and let's take a big sip and see if the overall vibe is the same or better than Starbucks. So I've mixed it up just a little bit. Wow. You guys, this is better than Starbucks. This is better than Starbucks. Wow, so delicious, so sweet, so creamy. So I know that this one's going to be more points and more calories, but let's compare it to the original Starbucks pumpkin sweet cream and see if it's actually less points or calories, but wow. And the third and final copycat pumpkin sweet cream cold brew is going to be a mixture of the first two recipes and we'll see who the overall winner is. But for this one, you're going to need some vanilla extract, pumpkin pie spice, salt, of course your coffee, pumpkin puree, and this time we're doing the fat-free sweetened condensed milk and non-fat milk instead of heavy cream, but we're adding in the sweetened condensed milk. So like I said, it's like the first one and second one had a baby, it would be the third one. So let's see what we think of this one to compare to the other two. So for the third recipe, again, it's a hybrid between the last two. So we're going to start with one quarter cup of non-fat milk. We're going to do another tablespoon of sweetened condensed milk. Just a splash of vanilla extract, a dash of pumpkin pie spice, pinch of salt, and about half a tablespoon of the pumpkin puree and froth. So 
So this one definitely frothed better than the first one, is thicker than the first, but not as thick as the second. So you can see that it's coming out a lot thicker and it's sitting a little bit more on top, but still mixing in kind of like the first one did. We're going to add some pumpkin spice spice to the top. And here is the third one in the copycat series. You can see that the foam is sitting on top a little bit, but it did kind of mix with the coffee, unlike the second one where the foam was so thick it just sat right on top, and then we kind of had to manually mix it in. But let's taste this and compare it to the first and second. Alrighty, taste test. Smells amazing. Ooh. It's definitely creamier than the first one, sweeter than the first one, and I think that's because we did add the sweetened condensed milk to the foam. The foam itself is definitely not as thick as the second one, and I really, really liked the thickness and creaminess, but of course we used heavy whipping cream. I would say that this is equally as sweet as the second one, just the foam isn't as thick. It's really good. It's really, really good. Wow. So if I had to rate our three recipes to copy the original Starbucks pumpkin sweet cream cold brew, I would rank them in this order. First, number three would be the first recipe that we tried just because it wasn't sweet enough for me and the cream really just settled right into the coffee rather quickly. You didn't really have any heavy foam that sat on top. Number two would be the third recipe. This one definitely has the sweetness and pumpkin vibes of the Starbucks one, but again, number two takes the cake for me because that foam was so creamy and rich and delicious. That one was so good. It was better than Starbucks. I can't believe that that was better than the Starbucks one. So I will go ahead and on the next screen, I will go ahead and put points and calories for all three of our copycat pumpkin sweet cream cold brew recipes. And now let's jump into the three Starbucks copycat apple crisp recipes. We're going to also make two of the apple macchiato copycats. So first you're going to need some Lakanto brown sugar cinnamon, some lemon juice, cinnamon, and some apple juice concentrate. I'm just using the frozen one. So I went ahead and added my brown sugar to a saucepan. I'm then going to go ahead and add in my apple juice concentrate. All of the measurements for these recipes will be on my recipe website, which is linked down in the description box. I'm going to add in some cinnamon. And then lastly, I'm going to add in some lemon juice. We're going to put this on the stove, allow it to boil and thicken up, making a syrup-like consistency. So you can see that we are boiling and as it continues to boil, it will become thicker. Once you're finished with the boiling and the thickness is to your liking, you are going to go ahead and remove the syrup from the burner and set that aside. So here is what the syrup looks like. It is the perfect consistency. I went ahead and added my coffee concentrate and my water to my mug. And now I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of the syrup. You can add more or less depending on how sweet you want your apple crisp macchiato to be. But for me, one to two tablespoons is about perfect amount of sweetness. Once I add that in, I am going to go ahead and stir that up really well. We want to make sure that that syrup and the coffee is combined together really, really well. And there's tons of syrup left over. You can make several drinks. Adding my ice. And then of course, I'm going to add a little bit of milk right to the top to make that macchiato type of consistency. Macchiato means layered. So everything is layered in the glass. Top it, of course, with some pumpkin pie spice. Now we're going to give this a try. And like I said, I am doing a voiceover. So my mouth and my words are probably not going to match up, but I spent a lot of time on this video and I wanted to make sure that I put it out for you guys. So I am going to go ahead and taste test the first apple crisp macchiato copycat Starbucks dupe. Cheers. It is 
really, really good. It was the perfect amount of sweetness. I would say that for my liking, I would even like it a little bit more sweet so you could add some more of that syrup. Make sure that you do mix it together because again, macchiato means layered. So this is a layered drink. Once I mixed it together, it had a lot more flavor and sweetness and it tasted a lot better once it was mixed together, obviously, than everything layered in the glass. But I definitely, definitely liked this recipe. I'm really excited to try the second one to see if I like it as much. Three points, you guys, 68 calories. You cannot beat it compared to the Starbucks macchiato. For recipe number two, we're going to make it a little bit different. You can see that I've already added my coffee concentrate and my water to my glass. I melted down one tablespoon of Lakanto brown sugar with some water to create kind of a brown sugar like syrup. And this is going to be added in place of the brown sugar that we put in the first recipe. I'm going to stir this in really well. I want to make sure that that brown sugar syrup gets combined. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of that apple juice concentrate. And of course, we're adding in some cinnamon and for some pumpkin pie spice that just really elevates the flavor of this drink. I am going to stir really well before adding in one tablespoon, one to two tablespoons your liking of the sugar-free vanilla syrup. Now, this was the game changer for this recipe. It definitely added that vanilla flavor as well as that sweetness that I really was missing from the first one. And then as always, I'm going to stir in some pumpkin pie spice. And we always like to add a little bit to the top of our drink as well. This recipe, very, very simple. No cooking on the stove required. I'm going to stir really well and then add in my ice and my water. Give it another stir before adding in milk. You can really use any milk of your choice. I'm using some low fat milk here. So now we're going to give this one a try. I grabbed a straw for this one. Stirring it all together, together, giving it quite a few stirs to make sure that it's mixed thoroughly. Listen, the straw gave it a whole new vibe. I'm really, really excited to try this. I think this recipe is much simpler. So if it's as good or better than the first one, which spoiler alert, it is better than the first one. It is so sweet, so appley, so delicious. I mean, really, really good. And like I said, it's much simpler to make this second recipe because there isn't any cooking on the stove required. You simply just melt down a little brown sugar in the microwave. This one is less points and less calories. Using that sugar-free vanilla syrup, I think was the game changer. It added that little bit of vanilla and sweetness to the drink. Really, really, really good, you guys. If you want a copycat recipe that I think is pretty close to the Starbucks one for a fraction of the points and calories, I would definitely go with recipe number two. Now, if you don't like your coffee drinks as sweet, you may go ahead and opt for recipe number one, but I like my coffee sweet. So I would always choose recipe number two for the ease of it, as well as the overall taste and comparison for a dupe or a copycat of the Starbucks recipe. But both of these were really good. I'm a pumpkin girl through and through, so I don't know how often I would recreate this and or order the Apple Crisp Macchiato. But thank you guys so much for checking out this video and bearing with me through these technical difficulties. I honestly am not sure what happened with the audio. Everything was fine up through the pumpkin recipe, and then all of a sudden, it went away for the apple crisp recipe. Again, all five of these are on my recipe website. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you again for bearing with me. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Check out the description box for everything that I shared with you. And thank you guys again so much for watching this video. And again, bearing with me. I hope you recreate these and enjoy these over the fall season. Save yourself the points and calories because if I do say so myself, these are pretty good dupes.